What we're gonna do is a pizza in the style of Dominic DeMarco, who is a renowned pizza maker in Brooklyn, New York, and labored in anonymity for 45 years before he got discovered by a food journalist from the New York Times. Not because of any kind of trick toppings or anything, anything that he's doing other than just, what he's really doing is he's layering flavors on top of flavors and textures on top of textures. Everything that he does is, you know, is very methodical, very step by step, no, nothing changes. He's the only, up until very recently, he was the only one who made pizzas in his pizzeria. And he probably only makes 60 pizzas a day at his own pace. He has a room in the back, in the back of the kitchen where he feels that the dough should be stored. So when you order a pizza, Dom, who is now almost 80 years old, walks to this back room and he gets one dough ball. <laughs> if, there's ten, if there's 10 pizzas on order, he gets one dough ball because he doesn't want the dough to be at this wrong, incorrect condition for too That's long. That's amazing. He stretches the dough. He's got a little pot that he brought from his house with pizza sauce in it because he feels that if you make a big batch of sauce, it's not going to taste the same. So everything is done in very small increments. So he makes a pot of sauce. When that's done, he makes another pot of sauce. If you look for, at a Google image of Dominic pizzas, you'll see that they're pretty rough. He's not trying to make a perfectly round pizza, not perfectly even, not always consistent. That's this, okay. This, his, uh, his dough recipe is flour, water, salt, and yeast. That's it. He's using a mixture of double zero and high protein flour now. So blending which, his flour. Right, which he certainly wasn't doing in 1961. His cheese, he uses a combination of shredded mozzarella and, uh, and fresh mozzarella cubed up. But he doesn't do any of that until the pizza is made. So he stretches the pizza, he puts a little sauce on it, he grades enough cheese for one pizza. He, put, he puts that on the pizza, and then he goes over to the window with a scissor, and he gets some basil, and he cuts up the basil. He gets, some oregano. Growing in the right. he gets some oregano and he sprinkles the ore he takes the oregano off the plant and he sprinkles it on the pizza. A little bit of thyme, whatever is growing in that window, that's what goes on the pizza. He puts that on there, he puts it in the oven next to the pizza cutting board. He's got a scissor and he's got some grated grana padano uh, grated cheese. Pizza's in the oven, he doesn't use a peel to take it out because he wants to feel it to make sure that the pizza is exactly right. If the pizza gods tell him it's time to take it out of the oven, he takes it out, he puts it down, he cuts the basil with a scissor, he grades some grana padana on there, and then he just watches the pizza. He just looks at it and waits until his muse speaks to him and he says, okay, now it's time to cut the pizza. So he goes through that for every pizza. So if you're waiting online, you're gonna be there a while. His son had been working in the store for his whole life, and all he was allowed to do was cut pizzas and take money. He never made a pizza. Of. But Dominic, being from Italy, I, I think he's probably from, or he's probably from southern Italy himself, right? He's from Naples. He's from Naples. Um, you know, he, he prefers to bring ingredients in. He believes that the ingredients he gets from Italy are better. He's connected. We've talked about, well, I, I have to be careful when I say he's connected. He's connected to his ingredients. So now we put a little olive oil on top. And we have a pizza cutter. All right, so now we've got, um, you know, a classic cheese and sauce pizza, but done in a different way and in, 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 in a caring way. We didn't uh, read the newspaper or the mail in between. We're making it for you a little faster than Dom does. As John said, he's in no rush. He's been doing it for 60 years. Uh, he's not, he's in no rush to, to make it. He wants to do it right. He wants to do it his way. And he wants to do it according to how he's feeling that day. And keep so, in mind with somebody like that, when they're gone, it's gone forever. So, you know, and they're not, so it takes not you a couple left. hours to get, the, to get that pizza. That's okay, when are you, you, know, when are you ever gonna get to experience that again?